Oh my god, bro. I'm just trying to break everything. Sorry, little bulb. Hello. Wow. What happened? I don't know. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So we hit a thousand subscribers. I don't know why. Why are you here? No, seriously. Why are you here? Also, could you leave a like for the transitions? Because I'm dying over here. Post-editing Puma wants to die, okay? Like, I need a long, warm bath right now. Because I don't know what's going on. Okay, so please. Please leave a like. Or a dislike. I don't care. It helps the algorithm. Leave a like or a dislike and a comment. Please. I beg of you. <laughs> please. Stitch says please. In all seriousness, thank you for a thousand subscribers. I never thought that I would ever, ever, ever hit that number. That's crazy. A thousand people? We're almost at 1,200 by the time of you guys seeing this video. Can you imagine a thousand people in front of you and you have to make a speech in front of them? Nah, uh I'd be pooping my pants. I'd be heading to Wisconsin. I'm out of here. I'm moving to Canada, okay? I can't do that. But there's a thousand of you that watch my content on this channel. There's 3,000 of you watching me on TikTok. And I still don't know why, but I do appreciate it. So today, we're doing a 1,000 subscriber Q&A video. I feel like a lot of you don't know much about me. A lot of you are new. I mean, we've nearly gained about 500 subscribers in the last month. 30 days, people! 500 of you! Why? <laughs> That's crazy! So, we're doing a Q&A today. I asked you guys to ask me questions over on the Discord channel. If you're not a part of the Discord and you want to join the server, there's a link in the description down below. Click the link, join the server. We have a good time over there. And I also asked you guys to ask me questions on Twitter. So, between both social media platforms, we got a good amount of questions. If you asked a question, you're going to see your name pop up on the screen as I read the question and answer it for you. So, let's get started! I thought I'd bring the kangaroo back for this one. Hopefully that's okay. Kangaroo has a little baby kangaroo. I'm kind of squeezed. I'm like suffocating this poor dude. I'm sorry. I don't mean to strangle you little bud. Name the kangaroo. Comments down below. Name him. He's cute. All right. First question. How many Switch games do you have? Damn it. I'll be right back. Okay. I have nine Switch games. Including one that I haven't played yet. It's Pikmin 3. We're getting there, folks. I'm working on it. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Oh, I got, okay, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Oh, the glare. We love cameras. We love my webcam. 12. I have 9 in my room on my gaming shelf. Love your videos, but here's a question. What was it like receiving your subs, and what was it like having over 100 subs? Stay awesome and Merry Christmas. I got another one. What goal are you going to hit next in YouTube? Having over 100 subscribers is one of the most surreal feelings ever. I made the channel in 2015. I started posting content in January of 2016. I think it took me until May to hit my first 100, and that was crazy. I mean, that was a short amount of time. That's only five months. That's actually a short amount of time, believe it or not. If you make content, you understand. So yeah, it was a really, really crazy feeling that 100 people... I mean, picture 100 people. On average... How many people, how many students are in your classes? In my high school, we had an average of about 25. So if you think about it, that's four classrooms full of people watching your YouTube videos. That's crazy. That's a lot of people, man. What goal are you going to hit next in YouTube? Honestly, I have a goal of hitting 5,000 subscribers this year. I don't know if that's possible, but we're going to try. I mean, there's no shame in trying, right? You gotta make content. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's all good. When was the last time you did something stupid? Yesterday, probably the last 10 minutes of my life. I'm wearing onesies for sake. I'm stupid. Honestly, okay, so yesterday I was making a sandwich. I was toasting it, right? I had it on the frying pan and my pinky touches the frying pan, man. Do you understand how much that hurts? My pinky, man. A little pinky. <laughs> Will you ever do a room tour? Absolutely. I have a few more things coming in. That I bought on Amazon, I bought another tripod that I'm going to use my phone for a second angle. If you guys follow me on Twitch and watch my streams, you know what I'm talking about. I've been talking about it forever. I want to do a little bit of Pokemon card openings. I think that'd be fun. So I have that second angle to have on my desk. So yeah, it's coming. Just knowing me, it might be in a few months because I'm stupid. What's next for the channel besides sub goals? Mario Sunshine series, Final Fantasy VII Remake series, Pikmin 3 series, the Fallen Order series, the Crash Bandicoot series. There's a lot of series coming, but somebody needs to tell Puma in the comments to get her together and start editing faster because I'm slow. 
So yell at me, please. How many more onesies will you get? Honestly, I hope to have a full on closet of onesies that I can just switch in between. I like onesies, man. Why did you decide to stream? It's a good question. I like it. Honestly, I never thought I would get into streaming, but it's fun. I mean, like it's a different interaction. Like interaction on YouTube is just comments. Interaction on TikTok is comments. Twitter, comments. Instagram, comments. But streaming, you get to talk to people in real time, talking about the game, asking questions, getting to know each other. It's great. I love it to death. So that's why I started streaming. What do you think of me, Goose? I think you're fantastic, dude. I love having you in the Twitch streams, in the Discord server, as a moderator. You're fantastic, dude. When are we playing Among Us again? Oh, no, man. You guys in this question. Ah. Oh. I'm so bad at Among Us. I love playing it with you guys. It's fun. And I talk about getting a, a lobby. And I never do it! Maybe I should make a text channel on the Discord server that's uh, solely about Among Us. If you guys want to get a lobby going, maybe we'll do that. I don't know. Well, Puma, make her own onesie merch! Bro, you guys want onesie merch? Do you guys want merch in general? I know a lot of you want stickers. I feel like I'm held captive if I don't make freaking stickers, man. Who do you talk to about onesies? What company creates merch over onesies. I mean, I'm sure they're out there, but clearly I don't know. Well, Puma come out with a merch line. That, that goes hand in hand with the previous question. Would I make a merch line? Absolutely. I would love to do that in the future. That's actually one of my goals, like my end goals in life. That sounds depressing. I didn't mean it that way. Like I don't plan on dying anytime soon, but a merch line would be great because I'm super passionate about graphic design. No, I would not design my own merch because there's much more suitable and capable people in the world that deserve to get paid to create merch for creators. I should not create my own merch, but I do like graphic design and I'm studying it in college, but I'm not good enough to make my own merch. But I would love to get something going maybe next year, 2022. We'll see. Well, Puma play Roblox. Bro, I barely know what Roblox is. All I know is the sound effect is like, oh, 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 ah. Like, that's all I know. I don't really know anything about it. Is the sky red or blue? It's purple. Do you have 1K subs? I think so. Unless like 200 of you unsubscribe right now, then I most definitely do not. How did you start? Oh, man. My first channel was Minecraft. I only played Minecraft. Okay, I started with a cheap old headset. It didn't even have like an external mic. It was an internal mic That's how I recorded my voice with a free software that I found online that was buggy as hell And it lagged as hell with a PC that was 10 years old and a software known as Windows Movie Maker It was free everything I used was free besides like the PC the headset I mean technically the PC was free because it was my dad's old 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 PC and the headset I'm pretty sure my parents bought at some point in my life. I was 12. So, you know 12 year olds don't really buy their own things. I mean, I mean, if you got an allowance, I didn't get an allowance, but I had birthday money and Christmas money and stuff like that. So what I'm saying is don't give up. If you're passionate about something, you'll create the content and you'll enjoy creating the content. And that's what matters. Just have fun. Why did Jack and Jill go up the hill? Why did they go up the hill? Did they have to get a bucket of water? Nah, seriously, I really don't know. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a- Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Yes! I did that first try! I promise you that was not post-edit Puma. I know I slowed down, and I know it wasn't completely accurate, but I tried, and that's all that matters, right? Trying your best is all that matters. Yes! That is a fact. Do you like Star Wars? If so, what is your favorite? Oh, uh, be honest with you guys, I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan. I don't know much about it. I don't hate Star Wars. I don't hate Star Wars at all. But I don't know any of the movie titles, so don't hate me, please. How was your first trip to Disneyland? Like, it don't matter which one. <sighs> I got yelled at on my first trip to Disneyland. It was Disney World. I've never been to Disneyland. That's in California. I got yelled at a lot. <laughs> I was a little kid. I was probably maybe like 10 or 11 years old. And I was a whiny little b dude. I was, I cried about everything. Like I hated walking. I hated like eating foods that I didn't know. And I was like, I'm a picky eater, okay? So if we went to like, like in Epcot where there's, you know, different countries and there's different foods based on those different countries. If we went to like Mexico, for example, I'm not big on Hispanic food. I'm Hispanic, but I'm not big on Hispanic food. And my parents love it, right? So we went to this restaurant in Mexico and I wouldn't eat anything and I was being just a whiny little b 
and my dad was yelling at me and like my mom was upset it was just, it was terrible because i was a little turd ball like i was like mini puma was a self-conceited like idiot like i hate my old self right it wasn't a good experience like did i love it of course i did did my parents enjoy it no 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 no. they probably would have taken mini puma and stuck her in a trash can put the lid on top and told her see you later why are you named puma's revenge this is a good one honestly my favorite animal is not a puma it's probably a monkey my old channel name used to be epic monkey i don't want to talk about it but that's what I named myself. I don't think the channel exists. I'm pretty sure it got taken down. I don't know if it was because of inactivity or whatever, but I tried to look up the channel a while ago because somebody wanted to see my very first channel. It doesn't exist. I don't know what happened to it. I'm kind of upset about it, but <laughs> that's a another story for another time. The revenge part comes because I created my account basically when Black Ops 2 was going. Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, I think. I think it was Black Ops 3. But I like the revenge medal specifically in Black Ops 2. Because I played Black Ops 2 a ton. I played it even when Black Ops 2 was out. I, I love Black Ops 2. So I liked the Revenge Medal. And then I figured that I could just name myself Puma. Right? You gotta put something else. It's gotta have two words. I wanted it to be clean. Right? I wanted it to have a capital first letter. And then the second word also be a capital letter. So I named myself Puma's Revenge. I don't think it's that bad. How old was Puma when she started making videos? I was 12. I was a 12 year old. I was in... Sixth, seventh grade? I was recording videos on my phone. It wasn't even my phone. I think it was my mom's phone. <laughs> that was like my very, very first channel that I probably uploaded like three videos on. That was not my Epic Monkey channel. So I, I guess my Epic Monkey channel was channel number two. I don't count channel number one because it lasted like not long. <laughs> like I gained maybe one subscriber. And that subscriber was probably a second account because I felt bad for myself. <laughs> Why did you start social media in general? I'm an only child. I'm bored. I have nothing to do. I like video games. I figured that maybe I can try to make people laugh. Tell me if I'm doing a good job or not. I don't know. Do you like streaming? Dude, it's my favorite thing. It's literally my favorite part of the day. On Saturdays and Sundays when I don't stream, I hate my life because I want to stream, but I'm at work, so I can't stream. Will you ever dye your hair? No. The exception to this is if we ever do a charity stream and we raise like a set amount of money, then maybe. But I will never, like, shave my head. That's not happening. I don't care if y'all raise $2 million. I'm not shaving this, dude. Who inspires you currently? Duckaja. If you don't know who he is, I'm gonna try my best to remember to link these people in the description down below. But Duckaja, Carnage Clan. If you don't know who Carnage is, they mainly produce Call of Duty content, but they play other games. Their members play other games. It's not just Call of Duty, but... Carnage Clan in general, specific members from Carnage Clan. Duckage used to be in Carnage and then he left recently to focus on himself a little bit more. And then Lone Wolf, Dexbot, and Apollo's Mission are probably like my top favorite Carnage members. I mean, I love all of them. They're all fantastic people, but we're gonna go with those. Yell at me if you get to this point in the video and I don't have them in the description because I would love for you guys to check them out, especially, especially, especially Duckage. I'm gonna try to link his recent video because literally guys i just watched his recent video came out today when i'm recording this it is january 7th thursday january 7th this dude gave one of his moderators on twitch a brand new gaming setup with the help of his sponsors and his community members like he drove up to pennsylvania to give this like oh my god that's amazing dude i was literally bawling my eyes out i was crying i was straight up crying so i'm gonna try to link that video too because it's amazing you guys it'll make your day i promise what's the best thing that's ever happened to you this community honestly it is the greatest thing ever thank you for watching me embarrass myself on the internet i appreciate it i appreciate you you in particular you i'm pointing my finger at you pointing your finger at someone is probably not the best thing to do because it probably scares them in public but like you in particular thank you how old was puma when she started making videos i feel like i already answered this question but i might not have i have terrible memory but i was 12 why is puma a puma because i'm weird i don't know i like pumas leave me alone is puma charlie demelio am i saying that right i don't think so demelio damelio no i don't even know who that is well puma played crash team racing i want Two. It looks like a fantastic game. I think it would just be so much fun and I'd be so pissed off. I played a Crash Racing ages ago. I think it was on the PS1 or PS2. I don't remember. I played one. I loved it. It was so much fun. Is Puma straight? Well, I'm not gay. So, 
Yep, I'm straight. Awesome, that's all for the Discord questions. Moving on to the Twitter ones. I think I got a few. Twitter. How'd you get so good at saxophone? What? I'm not good at saxophone. I'm sure you're a lot better than me. 100%, because I know you play saxophone, Jack. You're way better than me. You're doubting yourself, okay? Honestly, I've been playing since I was in the fifth grade. And I'm 21 now, and I started when I was 10, so I've been playing for 11 years. I would hope I'm not dog shit at it, but I'm not good at it. What was your biggest inspiration for getting into YouTube? On my very, very first channel, like the one that I, I talked about that I only uploaded like one or two videos and got one subscriber kind of thing, my inspiration at the time was Syndicate, T. Martin, and Allie A. What's your ultimate goal? My ultimate goal is to graduate college and survive the next four semesters of my life. I have the spring semester the summer semester, the fall semester, and another spring semester, and I should be done if everything goes accordingly and I don't fail a class or I don't get into a class that I need. I just want to graduate college, man. Have you ever broken anything from raging like headphones, controllers, etc.? I don't think I have, honestly. I really, really don't. I've never been one to, like, seriously rage to that point. Like, I stop myself. Like, if I get that pissed off at a game, I'm turning it off. Like, I'm not gonna let myself escalate to the point where I'm breaking things and, and just acting like that. I'll just turn the game off and, and walk away from it for a day or two. Last question! Why are you a meme? I had to put some pictures up on the, on the video, on the screen. I don't know. Why aren't I a meme, dude? I am literally a meme and I'm okay with it. I don't have a problem with that. Memes are great. Puma's a meme. <laughs> Alright guys, seriously, I really enjoyed the q and I hope you guys learned a little bit, thought it was a little entertaining. I know it's not a gaming video, we're doing something a little different. I don't do this often, but maybe I should do this often. I don't know, let me know if you guys want to see some different content, maybe vlogs or something. Some more in real life content, it's up to you guys. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you for a thousand subscribers. I never thought I'd see that number in my entire life. You guys are amazing, don't forget that. Like, if you're having a bad day, good days are coming. I promise, good days are coming. Bad days don't last forever. They might seem like it, but I promise you there is a light at the end of the tunnel. So just keep going, okay? Just keep going. i see you guys later. Have a great day. Stay awesome. Don't do anything stupid. And please stay safe, okay? We're in a pandemic for freak's sake. Please be safe. Please, I'm begging you, okay? I'm almost begging you. Stitch is begging you too. It could be a shark. If you want to call me a shark, I don't care. Okay? Have a good day. Goodbye.